And believe it or not, I am unapologetic about every single thing that I said. Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Summer. And to all of you that keep coming back, hello and welcome back. Quick reminder, if you've never subscribed, just to remind you to click that red button there that says subscribe. And after that, click the bell sign. That way you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to some of the comments I got on the video I made about Patricia Bright. Before I say anything else, let me get this out of the way. Um, if you watch my videos, watch all my videos, one thing you would notice, I don't ever ask people to like my videos. Like, I don't ask people to click the like button. I just don't. You know why? I am not on YouTube to count likes. I know we now live in a world where people's lives literally depends on the like button. Life is not about likes. And let me address the comments about my skin color. You bleach your skin, you bleach your skin, you bleach your skin, you bleach your skin. Let me keep it simple. Africans come in different skin colors. This is 2018. You have no excuse not to know that. Go get informed. For those of you that have asked me for my skincare routine, I have a video where I explain what I use. It is not sponsored. I will link that in the description box below if you want to check that out. Unfortunately, we live in a world where good has become evil and evil is now good. Culture is supposed to be uplifting. It's supposed to infuse our lives with intrigue, lust for knowledge and appreciation of beauty. Instead, for the past two decades, pop culture has only served as a sewer pipe of projectile diarrhea. As I'm sure you've noticed, pop culture has become significantly more vacuous and obscene. It's a rancid assault on the senses, indoctrinating us with the idea that this is actual reality. You know, nobody wants to say the truth anymore because they don't want to offend anyone. People tell people what they want to hear. Um, no, I don't do that. One thing I want to get out of the way is this. Since the time Patricia Bright made the video to tell people that she got surgery done, a lot have been said. There are a lot of videos on YouTube talking about the surgeries she got done, so I'm not starting something new. It's already there. It's not a new thing that she got surgery done. It's all over the internet. She made a video about it. Those that leave me comment like, oh, she's a grown woman, she can do surgery if she wants, blah, 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 blah. What part of my video said she can't do surgery if she wants? Was there anywhere in my video that I condemned her surgery? Like, so where are the comments coming from? And guess what? You can go on her channel. You see the video where she told everybody about the surgery she got done. Go and read the comments and you will see tons and tons of comments. She posted things on Instagram. I got some comments on my channel that made me go check it out. The particular picture that I shared in that video, I was told that when she shared it, she got so many negative comments that she decided to block off the comments. There are tons and tons of videos on YouTube talking about Patricia Bright. All I did was say my own opinion about the whole drama as to who are the haters and who are not the haters. I only made the video about my own opinion. I didn't manufacture the pictures. The comments and everything I addressed, they are there on her Instagram. So it's not like I went and brought somebody from their private light and brought them on to YouTube. They're all there already. All I did was share my opinion about it. And believe it or not, I am unapologetic about every single thing that I said. And you see comments from people saying, oh, bashing, bashing. What is your definition of bashing? What part of my video was bashing? She's a grown woman. She's a gr Did I say she's not a grown woman? Didn't I say it in the video myself that she's a grown woman? So what's your point? Oh no, you know, she's never been comfortable with her body. I'm being directed to all this old, oh, see her, you know, here is her old video. You can see she's always kind of covered her belly. You know, you can see, you know, she never had any hips. You know, she's never been comfortable with her, her body. You know, she wanted to fix it. What is wrong with that? Did I say there's anything wrong with that? What part of my video makes it look like I said there's something wrong with that? Sometimes I'm reading some comments and I'm wondering, are they actually addressing my video or are they addressing something else? And then I'm getting comments from somebody who is black, by the way, you know, leaving a comment to insult the whole of Africa because of my video. So because you don't like my video, you insult the whole of Africa. Are you okay? 
Is your brain paining you? You know, I really have to say that one of the most interesting things that I think will actually be a good thing to do a study on is how it's typically the ones that are coming to tell me a woman can go naked if she wants, a woman can be half naked if she wants. They are the ones that are typically using the most vulgar language. And it makes you actually ask yourself, what does that say about this kind of people? The 17 minutes of this video was a waste of my time. And a waste of your time. Nah. Who told you to watch? Who told you to watch? You started the video, you watch the first five minutes, and you know where it's going. You watch another five, another five, and another two minutes, and then you spend a few minutes to type a comment, and you're claiming it's a waste of your time. Be honest with yourself, you have nothing better to do with your life. Oh, you say your children are perfect, and your children are better than blah, blah. Listen, I said in that video, I said I'm grateful that my children are not on this side of YouTube. Guess what? No apologies. I'll say it again. I'm happy that my children are not on this side of YouTube. Why am I happy? Because there's too much pressure on this side of YouTube. The designer bags, designer shoes, and the latest makeup, latest clothes. Do you know how many clothing hauls are on this side of YouTube? I am happy that my children are not on this side of YouTube. They don't have to go through this pressure that a lot of young girls are going through to conform. Thanks to social media, young people have been indoctrinated into this idea that narcissism Yes, I am happy that my children are not on this side of YouTube. Why are you all so unhappy? Because you're aspiring to something completely vacuous and unobtainable for the vast majority of people. There is way too much pressure on this side of YouTube. That is a fact. You know, children may grow up and then end up on... Listen, I'm doing my part as a parent. All I can do is my best. And let me tell you, when my job is done, whatever path they choose, at least I can say I did my best. At the end of the day, they have their lives to live. If they grow up and decide to choose any path, that's their choice. I have friends that their children are on this side of YouTube. And I see firsthand the amount of pressure that this side of YouTube put in the life of young girls. I see it all the time. I'm trying to say that makeup is bad. Get the earwax off your ears. I never said makeup is bad. I wear makeup. I only said that my children are not yet. And I'm happy they're not. And I said it that they're are not interested in makeup is that a bad thing i have friends that their children are already into makeup and they are buying the latest pa palette 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 or whatever i have seen comments upon comments of people complaining that a lot of these youtubers no longer even promote the cheap affordable makeup they promote the very expensive ones that a lot of people cannot afford what parents in their right minds will want their children to go through the kind of pressure that a lot of young girls are going going through on this side of youtube so why should I not be happy that my children are not under that kind of pressure? I'll say it again. I am happy that my children are not on this side of YouTube. Our bodies are natural. There's no reason why we should be hiding our bodies. Our bodies are natural. Let me tell you. Guess what? Doing a poop is natural. There's a reason why we do it in the toilet. Having a wash, having a shower is natural. But there's a reason why we do it in the bathroom. You're acting like as if you are a saint. I have never said I'm a saint. You don't want to know what I do behind closed doors. There are a lot of things that adults do behind closed doors. But there's a reason why we do them behind closed doors. One of the comments I got a lot was, Are you truly 41? Yes, I am 41. I was born in 1977. I have to say thank you all for the compliments. I have made a few videos where I explain some of the things that I think are the reasons why I don't look my age. I talked about my diet. I talked about my skincare routine. I'm going to link that in the description box. Hopefully you guys find that helpful. At the end of the day, my video was not there to bash anyone. Whatever I shared in that video is whatever is already flying around social media. All I did was share my own opinion. Did I bash anyone? No, I didn't. Nothing. Nothing I said in that video that I do not still stand by. I stand by every single word. It's funny the world we live in where people that try to promote modesty, you know, promote decency, are quickly attacked. So while the opposite is what people want to hear. No, I'm not a people pleaser. I say what I want to say. You don't like it. Don't watch. And then all this thing about a woman has the right to, a woman has the right to this, a woman has the right to that. There's no part of my video that questions people's rights. At the end of the day, like I said in that video, all anybody can ever do is advise people. And then there's a choice to take it and leave it. I'm going to end this video by saying this. There are a lot of things in life that you have a right to do. But remember, because you have the right, doesn't necessarily mean that it's right. With that, I'm just going to say thank you all for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. It's goodbye, friends, and goodbye, folks.